No Barta, no problem for the Zag women tonight. They trounced University of Montana 76 to 52 this evening. Multiple times in the game, they led by around 30 or so points and showed why they are picked to finish first in the WCC and once again go to the big dance. Uh, it's great for us. You know, it's a confidence booster. Um, you know, and like you said, it was, it was commanding win. So, I mean, we're, we're excited and we're confident going into these next couple of games. It's just going to keep um, getting harder and harder. The teams we're playing are going to keep getting better, and um, so are we. It was nice. Uh, it definitely set a tone for the rest of the season. We came out good on the outside, good on the inside, pretty good on defense. I mean, we lacked some areas, but it definitely set a really good tone. One of the things that made the Zags such a difficult opponent tonight was their balanced scoring attack with four players between 11 and 14 points. Uh, it's huge. Um, you know, it's hard to guard all of us. You know, it's, it's a little bit easier when there's one guy that you can kind of dial in on. Um, but for us, it seems like if, if you stop one person, then another person's going to hit the shot. So it's super fun. I love, you know, we're moving the ball around. Everyone's getting great shots, so it's fun. I think this is the kind of team where we can be led by a variety of different people. A few years ago, we had, um, I think, eight or nine different um, game scoring leaders, and uh, we have a lot of offensive talent on our team, people who can do it in a variety of different ways. And, um, you know, it's great to see them share the basketball. We're moving the ball. We're um, looking for our teammates, I think, sometimes a little bit too unselfish but uh, that's a good problem to have. Another note on scoring, Gonzaga's bench put up 36 points tonight and had two players in double digits. Jill Townsend, who led the team with 14 points, and Katie Campbell, who tied for second with 13. Yeah, uh, the bench is just always ready. We're able to see what's happening, either good or bad, uh, from a different perspective, not on the court. So once we go in, we're just ready to know what we need to do, what's open or what we need to, who we need to pressure, things like that. Yeah, no, it's, it's good confidence for the bench, and I feel like it takes a lot of pressure off of the starting five, also knowing that um, no matter how they perform, they got people coming in behind them, so they don't, they don't have to do everything, and I feel like that takes a lot of pressure off of them, so they're kind of relaxed more, and it just creates kind of a, a relaxed atmosphere around the team that everyone can uh, just do their part and do what they can to help the team. Gonzaga now turns their attention to another Big Sky Conference foe, but this one's just a little bit closer to home. The Zag woman travel to Cheney to take on Eastern Washington on Sunday at 2 o'clock. Reporting in the McCarthy Athletic Center, I'm Brenna Green, Crim2 Sports.